Well, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Vanished. Where last time we were here, we were trying to complete our first trade. Because our first trader showed up and we are going to finally, maybe, get some cows. We're waiting to get 1,600 potatoes. And once we get those 1,600 potatoes, we'll trade them for two cows. And then we'll take this back down to zero because we don't want to take away from the food supply of the people. We just want to be able to buy a couple of cows. But yeah. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this playthrough. I know I have. It's been fun to check out and see and play something a little older. Like I've said in the past with all this, the hype of Starfield and all these new games coming out. It's kind of fun to revisit some of the old classics, you know. Now this guy has been here for almost an entire season. I'm hoping he sticks around. As soon as this gets in there, 1600. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and trade. We want two cows. And we're going to do. Oh, he doesn't trade for potatoes. What does he trade for? Hmm. Well, let's see if he'll stick around for a little longer. Um, let's see. I didn't even notice that he wouldn't get potatoes this year. Let's do. Let's try 500 wood maybe I know that's pretty much all we have but we just came out of winter so we should be all right ready go and he might not stick around so but that's okay there will be other traders I was just hoping to get some cows on this one which is you know hey man I was playing this like three or four days ago and now it's the work week and now I'm sitting here waiting to see where I was at so hey give me a break it's all good. What do we have now? We have 125. Okay, he will trade for... Let's do... I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, no, we're going to need quite a bit more. And he didn't stick around. Okay, well, uh, that was a unsuccessful... Let's take this back down to zero. Unsuccessful trade. Nice. I want this at zero, yes. Thank you. Did it go to zero? Yes. So they should bring over some firewood and then unfortunately we didn't get that done, so that's always a bummer when you miss out. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so last time we were setting up the pasture and getting all this other stuff done. Um, as far as like another area for wood production, um, they are placing a forester over here. They have the hunting cabin. Do we have the gatherer's hut? Yep, we have the gatherer's hut. And as soon as they get all this cleared out, we will have uh, another area for basically food collection and such. And our guys are keeping up with the firewood. That's awesome. We have these paused, but I think we're going to go ahead and get these going. Um, we'll do one at a time. Kind of, we want to. We want these mines over here. Uh, we'll have one for coal and one for iron. So as soon as they build these, we'll build another section for um, of housing and stuff like that. That way, the people have a place to go. And our market, we could probably overlap them a little bit. I guess we could place. Let's see. If we have a housing division over here. How close would the market need to be? That's not a market. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's this one. So we basically we need to have another one here. Which we could do. We could do that too. But we'll get to that. We're just going to keep it on five speed. And we're going to try to cook along here. And hopefully get something going. I also want to build a, um, a boarding house. What I typically do is build the, use the boarding house to accommodate any immigrants that might come in to the village. Um, that way, as soon as they come in, we can accept them in, and then they can they have a place to stay. Um, is it ideal? Not really. I don't think it's like the most idealistic living quarters, but it's something for a place for them to live. So we're gonna place that there, and I'm gonna pause it because I don't want them to use all of our logs. And we're going to try to get a couple of mines going. The mines take up quite a bit of uh, worker resource. So I think there's 15, 15 total that could work here. 
So that's 15 and 30. And then the quarry is another 15, is it not? Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's a lot of jobs. You know, I mean, we're looking at 45 jobs. I mean, and if you count the people that have to bring the resources back and forth, I mean, we're probably looking up to upwards of 50 jobs. So, I mean, good times for the village. We're doing good on food. We're at 8,000 food, which is great. Um, which we just, we need to be able to expand the population. We need the food to expand the population so we can continue doing all the things that we want to do. Um, I would have loved to have been like getting our cows going right now, but uh, that's not the case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna get cows here first, cows or sheep, whatever shows up, and we're gonna kind of max this one out while while we push over into this direction. And we're gonna create a nice farming and ranching area over here for food, with more of like a. I know we have the town hall over here, but we're gonna do a nice um, suburb, I guess, or a metropolis over here, and the town hall will be in the suburb. But uh, we're gonna create a nice area over here with bigger fields and ranches. So then what we'll do is we'll basically use this as like a temporary holding place for the cows to um, start to reproduce um, until we have no enough room over here. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Because it's vanished. You just never know. But if you're liking this playthrough, and if you like this game, if you have comments to leave and suggestions on how to play the game, make sure you leave those comments for me and for the rest of the people that are wanting to watch and enjoy this game as well. That way we can all learn together and learn how to do things nicely. And if you like this video and you like the channel, make sure you definitely give it a like and think about subscribing. That being said, we're almost done here. The forester is at work here now. He will keep this area in a nice supply of wood. And they cut down wood as well for us, so that's also good. Now they took all the potatoes out, yes. And then we have 500 wood here. I'm probably going to increase this slowly as we gain population and woodcutters, we'll take that up to probably a thousand or 1500, something like that. So that way we have currency because I think one wood is worth five, um, or one wood, one wood is worth four, uh, whatever they trade in, uh, banished dollars. Um, you know, it's, it's, that's what it's, it's worth a, a decent amount for, you know, the amount that you have there. So the reserve of firewood is low. Well, it's because we have it all over here. If it drops too low, we'll have to take it back out. I was kind of hoping that our woodcutters could keep up, but... Well, maybe they will. We are having some population die of old age. Which is to be expected. Um, we just don't have... That's one of the reasons why we built the town hall so quickly. Is so we could gain some nomads. Um, but we have quite a few people right now. 50 people is quite a bit. I mean, we're doing pretty good. In all honesty, we probably need some additional housing. Uh, maybe we'll go with a stone house, even though it's taking up some stone that we don't really have. Let's do one here. Yeah, it's just not, just not going to be enough, you know? It's just, that's usually how it goes. We could do one here. Hmm. I think we do one here where where we can, and then we'll move the road. I think because uh, we could we could build more over here, but we'll, we'll try to come along the coastline here and kind of open up some of this area. Go ahead and take this out take this out and then we'll just we'll rebuild it we just want to kind of provide a little bit more room for housing but that will be a lot of stone and a lot of wood here here up goes the mine that's awesome now what it does after after the mine is depleted because the mine will deplete is it will leave this hump of dirt here even after we take it down the dirt is still there so there's not much you can do for some of the aesthetics of it it just is what it is. We're literally here to harvest the resources from the land. 
and yeah, you know, try to try to survive. That's really what we're we're not here to build the prettiest place, right? If that was the case, we'd have uh, different ways to decorate, which we don't have because it's vanished and it's it's pretty basic. But we do what we can, do what we can, and we will. But I'm having fun playing this game. It's uh it's challenging in its own ways. Okay, so we have some miners now. We want to go ahead and do iron here. Um, we'll let them build the other two houses. And let's see. Let's do let's just do a couple miners for now until we start to gain population. Once we do, we can definitely up these to 15 apiece. No big deal. And it'll be nice. Made it through another winter. Just about. And our food is not going down at all, which is great. Let's go ahead and let's get this done. Definitely want to... Yeah, the reserve of stone is getting low, but that's uh, that's kind of to be expected. We have this over here that we have, av we have asked them to gather and harvest up, but we just haven't quite... The if it was if it was unrequested, it would be red. So you can see it turns to red there. So they have um, this is what they should be harvesting. They just haven't quite gotten there yet. But up goes our first stone house, which will help out with the fuel cost. Like I said, these ones burn less fuel, quite a bit less fuel. Um, so we could probably, as we gain more stone, we'll go through and we'll update all these houses um, so they're all stone. But I would like to kind of get this going first. So once they once they get these two houses built, let's let's build the boarding house because what that does is that provides the people. Um, so basically, when we when we when we click on this, it will update the house. But it, they first have to empty everything out of the house, and then the occupants are basically kicked out. And then they update the house, and then the occupants are free to move back in. But we don't want them to be homeless necessarily. We want them to have a home, so we we build the boarding house. They can move to the boarding house while they're updating their house, and then they can move back. So it provides temporary housing for immigrants and for people that are getting a, an upgrade to their house, which is great. I think that's awesome. We want to go ahead and build a small, just like we did on the other side. Well, maybe not there because it kind of runs into that. We want to build a small... Well, let's see where the road leads first here. We can't get too close here. Why? Why? What's going on here? Oh, it's stockpile. Duh. Okay. I'm like, why? Why? Why can't we do this? Huh? What's going on? Let's go this way. We have the other one here. We'll be able to go here. Maybe come out one and go this way. That will provide them a nice walking area. And then we'll place this pretty much the biggest we can get right here. We'll place that there. That way they have a spot to drop the stuff off. Kind of like we did at the quarry over here. It just gives the workers a place to harvest and then drop it off right away so they don't have to carry it all the way back over here. It's all about time management. Time management, yes. That is a good thing. Still waiting on another trader. Hopefully he shows up. There he comes. Oh, buddy. We're about ready to get something. Whether that's seeds or whether that's uh, cows or sheep. We're getting ready. We're, we are ready. We have plenty of storage space with one storage unit not even being full. And the other one's not even full there. So we have a trader. Let's see what he has. Let's go ahead and slow down time. This is probably the only time you'll see me slow it down. Just because we want to see what they have. They have He has corn. Um, but it's not the seed. So he has pumpkin seeds for 2,500. Unfortunately, that's going to be more than what we have. So it's 500. I want to say it's like 625. Let's go ahead and take this up to 625 in our inventory. Uh, right here. Five. And take that off there. I want to say that's about how much it is. So let's go ahead and go with that and then we want to get the seeds as they come through because ultimately what we want to do is we want to get all the tradable items so you can see right now we have cherries but we have not planted an orchard yet because I just I don't like to plant little orchards it's just it seems kind of pointless 
So I like to build the biggest orchards we can and then go from there. But we have only have potatoes and cabbage. So um, we're at not quite enough yet. So hopefully, we I mean, it's just about trying to find the balance. So we're trying to get that going too. This one takes a hundred logs. That's a lot. That's a lot of wasted material, but we might just have to do it. Let's just see if we can get a little bit more here. Try to get these. And over here on this other side too, because... Alright, 503. What did they do? They brought three wood over? Come on, boys. What can we do better than that? There we go. Somebody's got a wheelbarrow. Okay. What are we looking like now? 625. So let's go ahead and go to trade. I'd like to pause it because I don't want them to leave in the middle of a trade here. So we'll get 2500 and I think this is 6, 625. 2500. So let's go ahead and trade that. And now we have pumpkin seeds. But I'm going to go ahead and take this one down to zero for now. Because I don't want them to take all the wood we have, and we'll build that back up whenever we're done. So, and we can, uh, we're done here, so you can, you can go away now. And that's it. So now we have pumpkins that we can plant too. So I want to, I really want to work this episode on trying to clear all this stuff out. So let's see if we have everything cleared out over here, or at least selected and ready to be cleared out. Not quite. We want to clear this entire area. This whole area is going to be an amazing farm field for us. Just needs to be cleared first, so we'll do that. I probably should do the whole, like, do everything, but I just don't... I, I don't know if I trust that quite yet. That, and we'll clear out some iron, and then we'll start building more farms over here. All right, good. We'll, we'll let everybody kind of start to work on that. Um, I put two traders there because I think I'm going to take one down. Just because I don't feel like we need them. And we have some... I'm just waiting on logs, honestly. Why are these not being done? Too many other things going on? Maybe, maybe. Um, maybe we should raise the importance of these things. Let's raise the importance. And I kind of want to raise the importance of this, too, because I was trying to build a road through here, and I just couldn't, so... Oh, well, it doesn't really... doesn't really allow me to do that. We're gonna have to... we're gonna have to cut a swath out of here. Let's cut a swath. The, the, the guy will... he'll... he'll... He'll put it back in there. Okay, we have all the stone uh, being removed and then all the iron, so that's good. We just need the trees cut out of here, and then we can build a path straight over through here. Like so. I just want it more straight than that. I would like to go like straight out here, and then straight over. But that, that tree is just like there. And all that does is allow them to move a little bit faster, a little bit more efficiently, which is, is good in the long run. So we have pumpkins, so maybe we need to look into, well, let's get this done first. Let's do this first. Uh, we're building up our stores of firewood. I feel like we kind of need another woodcutter in all honesty. We're kind of slightly short. Let's see. A woodcutter... You know what we don't have over here is a nice little stockpile. Maybe we need to kind of... Well, let's see. We could build it over here. Why? Why can't we? That's crazy. That is nuts. So we're going to build a little a little woodcutter there. Because they have, there's plenty of housing on this side. So plenty of room for people to have jobs here. Let's go here. And then I want to place a stockpile somewhere. Let's try to find a nice spot. Um, 
this is kind of awkward here. Maybe we'll just place a nice stockpile right here. Which will allow the forester room to go put stuff in there so they don't have to walk so far. And also allow these guys maybe to put some closer, but maybe we should put another one in here. Let's see, is there, there's really no room up against this mountain. I mean, it's just completely full. So, maybe a little, a little one here, like, like so. Let's just do a little one. They need a place to put stuff, so. It'll just work. It'll up our, our amount of, up, up. so 45 stone, which we have. And a hundred logs, which we have. So let's go ahead and up our woodcutters to three, even though they haven't built it yet. And we're going to unpause that one. Well, we better wait. Let's wait just a sec. We want them to finish these things first. We'll finish these up. Finish this up. Yeah, let's just... I want them to finish all this stuff, because... This is like important stuff that we need to grow, so we need to get that done. And look, even extra, extra stuff here. Venison and uh, really kind of running low on clothing, which I would love to have some sheep, but uh, we haven't gotten that lucky yet. But we will. We will. Like I said, this is going to be for mines. We can fit two here, and then when these two run out, we can fit two more here. And then once we take them down, we'll turn this into, I don't know, some kind of pasture. Or, I mean, we're going to build a little, maybe a little uh, subdivision here. Maybe punch a, punch a tunnel through here so we can get that done. Yep, yep, all these good things. It's really going to be good, so it just takes a little bit of time is all it does. So if we want to go through here, it's going to take 64 stone. I think I'm going to do that, but then we're going to pause it. We're basically just kind of laying stuff out. That way we don't have any trouble. Three woodcutters. This guy's got... Uh, okay, he's almost got a job. This will bring up our inventory of wood. So that's done. They have 12. Well, about a, right around a quarter of the logs done there. Let them get these built because really we need food and wood. So those things are imperative. Whereas, you know, updating houses, you know, having a boarding house, it's not as like crucial. It's not crucial, but it is, but it's not. So it's more just like things that we want. Reserve of logs is low. Yes, it is. And it's going to be lower once we get all done, because we're going to build this too today. We're going to pause it. We're going to build the chapel. And then let's see about maybe putting another cemetery. Yeah, see, it's just a funky spot. So um, we'll end up probably end up putting mines over here if we can. I just don't, I don't understand that. Like, why, why do you have to be that way? With one little red thing right there. I mean, we could, we could put them on this side. Maybe. Good grief. Yeah, see, I mean, we can string, we'll, we'll string them out along here. We know we can fit two more here, I believe, on this section, so. All good things, all good things. Four of twelve. Man, this is just going kind of slow, and I think it might be just because it's so far out, but, you know, we just haven't quite expanded out to that point yet. Yeah, man, don't you hate that? One guy, one, one, one person just living in this thing. It's like, bro, get married or something. A merchant has arrived. So he has... Uh, cherries, pecans, and squash. Um, not really anything that I'm interested in buying at this moment, so he can just go ahead and go away. We're looking for sheep and cattle. But, yeah, it, it just hasn't quite happened for us yet. But these little things like this kind of piss me off, but in a game that's very uh, square, it's very difficult to get anything 
you know, it's this is too gridded. It, it, we can't do it. It's too gridded, so it's impossible. As Luke Skywalker would say, let's go ahead and get this one going, I guess. And hopefully, that will allow us to do other things. And we can start laying this out over here. There's still a lot to be harvested over here. I guess we just have our people doing a lot of things. Which is, uh, you know, it's understandable. We we have a limited amount of, of, of personnel. I do think that I want to go ahead and up the number of stone cutters to five. And then foresters... Take that up to six. How many do we have? Three? Well, that will put three at each, correct? Yeah. Well, it depends. That depends. Let's see, we have two and two. And two. So that'll give two at each one, I guess. That, that'll be a little bit better. Anyways, that will help our logs continue to go up. And our logs are really low because of that right there. So, food is doing okay. I would definitely like to get some of these fields going. Let's maybe we should see about that. Maybe seeing how close we're going to be able to get in here. We have the tunnel coming through there. I think the biggest we can go is 15 by 15. We'll, we'll go ahead and start laying some of this stuff out. That way it's at least, you know, somewhat prepped. And then it will create a nice little grid, and then we'll put some houses and stuff over here with a chapel and all that other stuff. We just need this stuff to get cleared out, so. So those fields will ha have to just wait. A child named Migdalen was born. Never heard of that name. Never have. We want to take this up to six because we have three now, and then we have hunters. We want to take that up to six. That will give two uh, per area. So we have six foresters, six hunters, and six gatherers, which will should be pretty good. Plenty of herbs. That's good. Uh oh. We have a blight. Well, we'll just have to see how this plays out. And actually, I didn't realize we were... Oh, it slowed it down with the blight. That's what it was. We'll just have to see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't infect all the crops, but... If it does start to spread, we at least have a, a little bit of backup food here. I'm not sure if it travels from field to field like this. I really don't know. Not sure. Well, that's just what happens, you know, and it's a, that is life. This guy's finally going up. It takes a lot of logs, but it's a good investment. It's just a good temporary house in, uh, investment, so. So good for us. There's their potatoes, they just dumped them off right there. Inventory of firewood. We're in the middle of summer, so let's go ahead and take this up to... Well, I forget that it goes up so slow. Let's go ahead and take that up to 500. And actually, we know that it's... Uh, to get anything that's 2500, we need 625. So... Well, uh... The angel... The angel... Was, the miner was killed by a cave-in. Gustini. Well... Okay get that updated here hopefully they can update the amount or get caught up on firewood here with three woodcutters i would think that it would be okay so the yield is going to be super low on this one decent yields on the other ones you know decent yields looking pretty good 
we'll kind of wait till we get some more stone. And once we have stone gathered up again, we will go ahead and build this one this winter. That way we can start making steel tools um, right here. See, steel tools are log, iron, and coal. Um, and steel tools just last longer. They, they're more efficient. So that'll be good. We can make this a coal mine, have an iron, uh, an iron mine and a coal mine right next to each other. And it'll be good. All right, where are we sitting? Sitting good here. That's good. We've got this cleared out. That's good. See, they can start dropping off the logs right there, which will be great. They're already dropping off the logs and iron and such here. That's great. Yeah. Good stuff. It's a little strung out, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, you know, there's only, only so much we can do here. Stored stone is low. Um, where, what are we looking at over here? 95% left. That's good. Hmm. Looking for stone that's relatively close. So like over here. That we can gather. Throughout the winter months without people getting, you know... Without people dying. Okay, so they still have all this to go. Let's go ahead and just do all that because, like I said, we want we'll, we'll get iron and stone and all that stuff eventually. We want to clear these areas out for farms, so we'll go ahead and update this. Let's let's put like a, a rush on this order. Because that's really what we want is them to kind of get these fields ready because um, we were sitting at 8,000 food. Now we're at 6,500. So if we go here, we can look at our food production versus our food. So we use this much and produce this much. So we are on a steady decline. So we need to basically add another field. So this one will have to go. This one will have to be started right away. think, hopefully. Go this way. There. And once, uh, yeah. Well, good. We have our, uh, our boarding houses completed. Our firewood reserves are relatively low. Because we took it all to the, uh, we took it all over here. If they need it, we'll take it back out. So let's see if they can make it. Come on, boys, do your magic. Do that thing you do. Chop that wood. Cool. I think it's looking pretty good. Other than the logs is kind of low. I mean, we have some issues, but you know. It is what it is. Like, we're losing people constantly. That's just how this game goes. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is. But we're going to do a big old pumpkin patch over here. We'll do a big old pumpkin patch, see if they can keep up with some of it, and then we'll build this tunnel once we get a little bit more stone. I think this is going to take 64 stone, which we have. Technically, we could do it. Just do it. We're going to go ahead and just hit... Well, no, this this is what worries me about that one. The logs. So, Gustini is basically, like, all over the place. I mean, he was at the mine, and now he's over there, so... Whatever, Gustini. Whatever works for you, bro. Whatever. I think they just moved closer to where the, the, the house that they're in. Or, well, like, they moved to the closest house. So, if... Gustini lived over here and he was working at the mine. If a forester died, he's going to take this job because he's closer. At least that's how I think it works. All right, early winter. What do we have here, boys? Hmm? What do you have to trade, sir? Logs. Eh. I mean, it's not. We don't need logs. Really? That's all you got, man? Get out of here. Get out of town. We don't need that stuff. 
We need firewood, but we don't need logs. We have plenty of foresters going and laborers laboring and lots of things happening, so. So that's good. Uh, where's the roads? This one. R roads. Let's see. So I think what we'll do is we'll do uh, cherry trees, obviously. We do need some farmers. Not not builders, farmers. Um, two of three is okay. Two of two, one of two, one of one. Let's do one more. Is this two of two now? There we go. Okay. Which is good. We're still in a good spot. We're, we're looking all right. I think we will survive. So we'll have the cherry trees basically start to grow. It takes several years for them to get moving. So, um, boys, can we finish this? I would love to have this as a spring crop here. I would like to have this. I guess maybe not. Well, our people are getting old and dying. Um, that still pisses me off that that guy's like the only fool. He's the only guy living in that house. It's like, bro, get out of that house, man. Get out of there. No one man needs all that food. Come on, bro. Give me that. So we have upped our, our number of farmers. Um, it just kind of needs to happen. We're actually going to have to do more uh, when this one comes. When, if they ever finish doing this one. We're going to have to do more because we need the squash field. I'm going to go ahead and take two. Because as soon as they get this picked up, should be good to go. Food is imperative. That means important. Okay, are you are you coming to pick up this wood here? You are you coming? You know you can you can place importance on it, but there's only so much you can do. Man, don't you just love that sound? Man, that's great. I went out camping last year sometime, and uh, that's all I heard. Those bugs, just, or crickets, or whatever they are. Not necessarily the hacking of hose, but you know. I want two of two. Because I wanted this one done, but... Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, there's really no point in having these people on board here. I may as well just take them off. I was hoping to get a pumpkin patch in there, but... But alas, we will have no... Jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. None. So the tunnel is completed, which is great. We'll have a nice little path through the mountain, that way they don't have to go over. And it makes it that much speedier for them to get there. That's awesome. Because they've already taken one log out since we put that in, so maybe that's what they needed. They needed that little, that little push. They needed it. Nomads have arrived, okay. How many? Uh, we have 16 nomads. Allow. Um, that means we have a bunch in here, but we have some that need housing. One, Basically one family that needs a house. So we have enough to accommodate them for now. Hopefully we don't die to death from lack of food. Because I wanted to ha have this one ready to go, but... Okay, pumpkins. 
Unfortunately, it's early summer, so we might get a small yield out of that. Four of four. How about three of... One of one, two of two, two of two. You kind of got to go through and like micromanage these guys like crazy. All right, well, maybe they'll get something going over here. Yes, I built a wooden house, a wooden house, but we'll upgrade it. And see, now we have a bunch of people in here. They can kind of go off the age groups, so I feel like we have like one family, two families, three families, four, maybe five houses that we need to build, potentially. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start laying out over here what we want. So we want to build a market. It's going to be like kind of the central central thing. And we'll build farms around it. Actually, I'm going to remove it. And let's do it a little bit closer here. Let's kind of do it in line with this. That way we don't end up with a bunch of small little spaces that don't make any sense at all. there. Take our path this way. We're going to kind of encircle the market so it kind of makes it more s speedy for them. Oh, I did kind of mess that up. Oh well. And then we'll start building some houses out here. For farmers out here. We'll build four. They're not all going to get built right away. So it's just... It's just not going to happen. But we'll, we'll try to get... We'll do our best. This one didn't get anything planted this year. And let's uh, make sure that this one gets done ASAP. How's that? Let's do this one ASAP. Hopefully they can get the wood out to that. It's kind of a, a, a long ways, but... But hopefully, as we break off into this region over here, this whole area up to these mountains, we could even do more mines on the mountains, but this whole area is potentially our... It's our farming area, so... We're going to have to make it work. It's just going to have to work. We still have, we have 625 in there. Just kind of waiting around for some cows. That would be good. I think we're going to struggle with food this year. But since we have a bunch of laborers, let's go ahead and take this up. To nine. Take this up to nine. Take this up to nine. That way everybody's kind of, more is being gathered, you know. We have zero clothes. That sucks. But it's also because we have zero sheep, so... I think we're going to have to go ahead and do this one for... for uh, we're going to have to go... Let's do two more, because we want two of two, two of two, or th is it three? Maybe when we want three of three. Because they're going to help do labor stuff in the wintertime anyway, so. And yes, it's very gritty, but this is, grid in this game is just the way, that's just, that's really the only way, the only option we have, so. Pause the market. Let's just get this house going. We'll do this one house. Okay, we got that one done. That's good. Let's, this person living with their grandparent here. Oh, man. 
lots of logs and stuff. We're just not making a lot of firewood, so. Once we get some houses built, we'll just have to really start up, uh, like upgrading. We really want all these houses done because it's going to be super helpful to have the farmers closer to home. It's just going to take quite a quite a while. Oh man, there go the people. They're all starting to die. That's just kind of what happens, you know. I mean, it, you get it. You gain a whole bunch of people. You you divvy out the labor force all over the place, and then they just and then they die. What do you have, sir? Iron tools. Dude, these guys are bringing like absolutely nothing. Like, get out of here, man. Bring me some cows or something. Really unlucky. Really unlucky. All right, up goes this house. That's great. Perfect. Waiting on one of the two builders to come over and put it up. Not really sure what the other builder's doing, but probably because the other builder lives over here or something. But I think really, if you can manage your your fuel, you know, which we're doing okay. We have quite a few logs. We're just, I'd like to see this up to like a thousand, but we're doing okay on fuel. We're doing okay on this. We need clothes. Um, but there's we don't really have any animals or anything that we can use at the moment. So we don't have cows. We don't have sheep. So we're kind of limited to hunters. Which is why I've maxed them out. But other than that, we're doing okay on certain resources. Other than this, I think we need to go up a bit. We need to go up. So I think that'll be alright. Okay, so we have a house here. So we have farmers, a builder, and a farmer, and a child. That's good. Let's go ahead. We have how many vendors? Two? So we could... A lot of stone. But you know what we're going to need over here? We're going to need storage barns. Yes, yes it is, but we are in late winter, so what do you expect, sir? We could do storage barns and then just pause them. See if we can fit them like this. Yes, we can, and then we can even put a path between the middle of them. Or maybe we could, oh, I don't think we can actually build anything there. So they let you put this here, but then they, they don't let you actually, yeah. It's silly. But we, st we still need a stockpile somewhere. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do one here. I'll do one here. About the same size as, the, as these here. Um, actually, no. Uh, remove this structure. I'm going to go all the way across. Fine, we'll just do that. There we go. I didn't know you could click that. What does that even mean? I don't know. So we'll have a little bit of a open area in here, but there's not much we can do about that. So we'll just literally... make it a nice little open area for walking. And now, as they harvest the stuff out here that we've told them to harvest, they can bring it right here, drop it off, and not have to take it all the way back. Which will allow them to have more resources closer to here. So they can build all that stuff faster. All good things, guys. All good things. Just all in time. In time. We already have them out here planting pumpkins. Two big old pumpkin patches. We are going to have... 
We're gonna have jack o' lanterns for Halloween this year. One. Yeah. I think we're doing okay. You have to know where to invest. I'm not saying I know exactly where we're investing heavily, but obviously we're investing heavily in food. We need a trader with animals. Like we need to get some some type of pastures up. That that to me is kind of annoying that they haven't like I guess every game's slightly different though, I feel. Every game's a little different, so you know. One time you'll get a whole bunch of this and not have that, so. Oh there we go. That one's ready to go. Cool deal. Go ahead and hit play on that one too. Yep. Good stuff. Look at all that iron just stacking up there. Man, good stuff. So another one you want to watch too is your medicine. So we have a certain amount of medicine, but we have an extra herbalist over here that we could we could basically utilize quickly. So that's just for emergencies. And all of this is scheduled to be sh to be cut down, so all of this can come down. As well as all of this. Here comes our trader. You better have cows, you can get the heck out of here, huh? So, really, we could do massive farms on this side, and pastures and orchards and stuff. We just have to, we have to cut out a spot for people to live, too, so... Kind of creating like a central hub and then farms all around it. I think that will be good. All right, bro, what do you got? Pears, onions, and mushrooms. Dude, are they not gonna bring me like any seeds or anything? Like, I don't care about that stuff. Bring me something good. Bring me something good. That's already like four traders or whatever. Maybe that's dramatic, but that's, that's already a lot of traders that we've turned away because so farmer 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 you can see the people that live here will or work here will live here so that's going to be good the reserve of logs is low well so is the labor force so we'll get there these two are ready to go. We just need builders basically to get that get their act together and get over here and get a move on. So cherries we have no yield yet, and cherries we don't really I don't I don't know if they eat cherries anyways. They might eat cherries, I don't know, but I know we use them to make ale, so that's probably gonna be where most of our cherries go. Our happiness is okay. Our health is okay. So let's go ahead and push play on we still lack quite a few stones. Um, we need to look at our health as well. So health, let's see, where is it? We need to look at making the hospital, which we could definitely place right here. I, I, I kind of like it like close to the town hall, thinking that it's like a you know town center or something. And definitely place it there. We just don't have a lot of stone. This is all. All this needs to be harvested. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, we'll get there, right? Yeah, we'll get there. Um, the yield is very low, and I'm thinking it's due to the number of people working here. I could have swore we took this up to three. Three of three. One, 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 two, two. Oh, there it is. There's our, there's our link. Our missing link here. 
Now we're up to full. So you can see the difference between having three laborers and then having two. So really we need four. Really, that's what we need. Have they finished the houses yet? Not quite yet. Let's go ahead and put a, a, a speed up on these. Because this would be nice to, for these guys to not have to walk so far. We're going to have extra food regardless, but it's just it would be nice that they, if they didn't have to carry it all the way over here. Well, at least we got pumpkins now. I don't want to hear anything about it. You got pumpkins. You guys are starting to get a nice, nice little smorgasbord of food to eat. So, how many do we still have in here? Quite a few. Hmm. Rather disappointing. We don't really have a lot of logs and stuff. We really just need them all to start picking this stuff up. That's really what we need to do. But I think this is looking good. I still love that sound of just the crickets. So nice, because if you come over here, you get a lot of banging. Come over here. You get more town center people talking. Come over here where there's not much. It's like quiets down. Quiets down quite a bit. Which is nice. Alright, well, we should have quite a few. Oh yeah, we're gaining on clothes too. That's awesome. So really I feel like you kind of you kind of lose out on clothes and tools as soon as the these guys show up because they're they're basically restocking themselves, right? So what do they have? They're just eating a bunch of potatoes. Well, you know, what do you expect? They're new to town, they don't have much money, you know. It is what it is. I still enjoy thoroughly, I would say thoroughly, the immigration patterns in like Austria where it's like you build a house and then the little family comes in on a wagon and then they set up and then they build little gardens like this around their houses and I would say Austria is probably one of my favorite city builders that I've played so far and I haven't played a whole lot but you know it's a good one I like that one that's why we've revisited it probably like I don't know a couple three times on the channel they actually have some more stuff, but there's just too much to cover. There's too much. Too much to do. And Banished at least goes a little faster. Like, at least Banished goes quicker. This, some of those games take forever. Like, Starfield? Oh, man, dude. That's going to take me forever to get through Starfield. And I'm not even, like... Yeah. I have to work, too. So I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't know how much time I'm going to have for this kind of stuff, you know? Like... Ah, uh, either way. Now look at us. We're up to 10,000 food. And that was with a slight shortage of, of hands. So I think if we up these to four, um, we would do much better. That and having the storage closer is going to make the harvesting go a lot faster. Which will add to our totals for food. And they are focusing on these ones right now because we, you know made these ones like the most important thing to finish up so good good that's good and we might even end up building two more here if we can there's like this little hump here oh yeah yeah we'll end up building two more here and then probably um just continuing the, ha the houses this way and around and out that way and then just doing farm fields all around it Gonna be good. Are they almost, uh... Oh, hey. Bro, what are you... you... Okay. Alright, so they have some hide coats. They have cherry seeds and wheat seeds. We have cherry. We don't have wheat. Walnut seeds. I think we need crops more than that. But do the people even eat wheat? You know what I mean? Like, do they even eat wheat? I think they use it for 
We're going to do this one. They used it for uh, making the, the ale. But I'm going to take this down to zero. All right, bro, we bought from you. Get, get out of here. We're going to put another orchard in. Let's see where we could do that. So we can start growing some nuts. So 15 by 15. I think that'll be okay there. It's not, doesn't line up, like it's not gonna line up perfectly, but that's all right. We'll end up building a bridge across here and then connecting these at multiple spots across this little water area and then having a multiple farm areas here and this will be our walnut orchard so that's gonna be cool that's cool that's nice are they bringing more over here okay good good very good nice Dude, we're getting back up there on logs we just don't have a lot of stone we have all this over here not a lot of people that want to uh, invest the time, I guess. Get this going. That way we can finish up here. But yeah, it's been about an hour. I mean, we, we accomplished some things. We didn't do everything that I wanted to do, but um, my goal is to not play this off camera but just do this whole build on camera just for fun so if you know if it gets boring you know i'm sorry but this is the game this is what we do but we were able to at least punch through this mountain and expand our farms we gathered we got our first uh, group of nomads which we um have since actually built houses and they've all moved out so that's awesome you can tell by the smoke on top of the chimneys that they are not there if a house is occupied, it's got smoke coming out. Uh, we were not able to successfully get a pasture going, but we were able to get pumpkins and walnuts. So that's something. And uh, we're up to 74 people, uh, 74 adults. You know, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, but we'll come back to this. We're going to finish this market up. We're going to build more farms over here. Make this a nice lush uh, uh, wheat belt or whatever you want to call it. We'll get wheat eventually. I just want things that can be counted as food for now. Um, but we'll start making ale and make a hospital and do all that stuff once we get our stone and all that stuff up. And that's going to be on the next episode. All right. We probably could have done it if we hadn't built this tunnel, but hey, at least the people can get through, right? Yes. All right. Well, that's going to be it for now. You guys take care. If you like this game, like I said, make sure you like it. And if you like this channel, make sure that you subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. I've banished. You guys take care. See you later.